Press pause and answer the question. All right, so now we're looking at a different flavor of histogram, but it's pretty much the same thing. It just has dots, and it has the number of schools in the y-axis that fall into a given category, and it has yearly tuition and fees and thousands of dollars on the x-axis. And instead of kind of bigger ranges, each range is just $1,000. So we have $9,000 and $10,000, $11,000, and so forth. And we're going to compare the state of Virginia to the state of North Carolina. And... The question is, according to the line plots above, the standard deviation of the cost of tuition and fees for public schools in state student blank. And the correct answer is this one. It's smaller for the state of North Carolina. Now, we're not talking about the cost of tuition being smaller. We're talking about the standard deviation for the cost. And the standard deviation describes how spread out the data is from the mean. So if everything's tight clustered in together, all in one little tight area, then we have a smaller standard deviation. If everything's really spread out where some values are down here and some values are up here, then we have a larger standard deviation. It's basically how likely is your school going to fall far from the mean? And if it falls far from the mean often, if it's likely to fall far from the mean, we have a larger standard deviation. And so you see that the, the data of the schools in North Carolina, they're closer to that $7,000 mean, uh, 7000 something. It's just under $7,000 is, is the mean, but you see the scatter is pretty tight together. In Virginia, they're spread out a little bit more. We have some way up here at 20000 We have some down here at 9000 So even though the axis, you, you, it's not enough just to look at the Graphically, you have to look at the actual axes, and you see that all these schools that we're looking at fall plus or minus 2,000 of the mean here. And over here, man, it's like a big spread. So our answer is that the standard deviation for the cost of tuition is smaller in this graph here in the state of North Carolina.